Oh, welcome back to a very recognizable show. It's Predictions Week, day four. These predictions, mind you, are set in stone, and we will be staked to them for the rest of the year. We turn our attention to superlatives. We've got a lot to get to. We start with Super Bowl contender, most likely to miss the playoffs. Here are the betting faves. Stand by, betting faves. Kansas City Chiefs, our Chiefs, come on. Then the Eagles, Bills, Bengals, 49ers, Cowboys, Jets, and Ravens. So, Nick, most, uh, no, Super Bowl contender, most likely to miss the playoffs. Is who? So, I believe the Jets are going to miss the playoffs, but I also don't believe they're a Super Bowl contender. So even right. though they are on the odds, I am not going to include them in this. My answer is a team that I like and that I'm a big fan of their coach and their front office and their, and their quarterback personally. But I don't think this year is going to go well for them. The Baltimore Ravens. Ooh, bro. I, we keep hearing that, the, the, oh, this is the best receiving core. The Ravens have had since Lamar is there, which is kind of like being like, that's the most money I had in my bank account my freshman year of college. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's a lot. Just mean it's the most I'd had. Maybe Shots it's good. Fired no, at OBJ. No, no, so OBJ, a, a year removed from another injury. Zay Flowers, who I understand yes. was awesome in college, but is a rookie, so we yeah. have to see it. And then Bateman, who we are yet to see turn, have show the, play if he's the promise. Right, but the, a lot of ifs there. Mm-hmm. Also, aside from Roquan Smith, I think this is maybe one of the weaker Ravens defenses of the last few years, which, again, the Ravens defenses, that's, are, that's a high standard already. We know the old offensive philosophy worked. We don't know that this one will. I, and they're in a brutal division. I could see it going horribly for them. Okay. I've got the Ravens definitely in the playoffs. And I'm like you, Nick. I did not consider the Jets, even though I think they'll make the Super or the playoffs. Yep. I didn't consider them as, as a, a, top a contender. Right. Contender. So, I would have gone with them had I of those eight teams. Um, I went with the Bills. <laughs> this guy. No, this I guy. Mean, seriously. We just went to war I, I about went. the Bills Super Bowl window. And oh, now, oh, look at this. Two, look at two this things guy. can be true. Look at this guy. Where are they? Two things what? can be true. That One, the windows wide that open they are the a playoffs? Super Bowl contender. Uh-huh. And two, uh, of Cincinnati, uh-huh. Baltimore, uh-huh. and Kansas City, uh-huh. I think those three teams have a better chance of making the playoffs well, than Buffalo. Just the AFC. So two things. There's the NFC true. too. You- the window. Well, the, there's only three in the NFC: Dallas, uh- San Francisco, and Philly, and none of them are make, missing the playoffs. Uh-huh. Dow- Dallas is missing the playoffs? Even a chance they missed the playoffs? Yeah, there's a chance they, that the guy who led the league in interceptions misses the playoffs. The, they, they're not missing Brew, the playoffs. So, Buffalo, I, I like the Bills. I got them winning the division. You, you got them super with the wide open somebody. and missing the playoffs. I didn't want to extend the list of contenders halfway through the league, oh, so I went with the Bills. Okay. I'm objective. Yeah, you know, I'm that. Mr. Objective. <laughs> Mr. Objective. You I am Mr. Says, Objective. You got to produce. If segment. you want love for me, you got to produce. It, right. is, it, it is so dangerous to be liked on this team. Yeah. You like the Bills, but they're out. Yeah, you like is. the Ravens, but they're out. Yeah. You're, you're wrong about the Jets. I think you're right about the Ravens. I'm going to go with a different team. I'm going to go with the Dolphins. And I think it all hinges on, on Tua. And to me, if, if Tua can stay healthy, then, then things are going to that they've got a chance, and, and I like where they are and a lot of things they've done. I just don't believe that he's going to be able to stay healthy, even though he didn't get sacked that much and he's worked on, you know, taking Falling. hits. You just can't predict it. And when you've had that many concussions, the odds are you're probably going to get I, I would have, again, gone with Miami. That's a team which you, you probably would have. No, I have considered Miami winning him a the contender. division. I have Miami winning okay, the division. Okay, so you, uh, I, I, oh, he I agree with you on that. Yeah, I can He just it. hates the Jets. Next category. <laughs> most likely to break a record this season. Mahomes got most total yards, passing and running. Here are some, you know, Peyton's record still out there. Eric Dickerson. Um, Josh Jacobs Shout came out to Eric close. Dickerson, but that record still stands. Getting it done. Shout out to the neck yeah, one, too. Arguably yeah. the greatest. Uh, and then Calvin Johnson, yeah. of course. So, Nick, who do you have most likely to break a record? Consecutive wins by a team. Playoffs and regular season combined. It is 21. Coach Eric Mangini was a part of it. The last time the Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl, they ended that season on, a, I think, a six-game winning streak. They then won the Super Bowl. They had a stretch of 25 games where they went 24-1. and won. Mm. The one loss was to the Raiders. The Raiders then did laps around the stadium, and the team has still not recovered from that sure. spitting in the face of the football <laughs> gods. We'll see if they ever do. The Chiefs this year, they beat Buffalo. They tie New England's record at 21 in a row. That would be th- to get to 13-0. The very next week, 
on national television, Coach. Love it. They go to Foxborough. Don't think the NFL. When the NFL, you think this is a coincidence or you think the NFL knew the Chiefs might start out 13-0? and <laughs> Let's have the record breaker be it's at a New England. battle for the head of the AFC so East. So, the, they are, eight. by the way, this is, oh, Nick, you're a homer. Well, are the old men in the desert homers? Because the Chiefs are favored in every single game they play leading up to that New England game where they are also favored. So they break the record. That's the most likely record to fall. No chance. No and, chance? And, and you know I like the Chiefs. No. Oh, they're, they're, they're not. He loves everybody. He likes everybody but me. No, the Chiefs. Yeah, you, no I, chance. I'm the on. Mr. Objection. Who's the, <laughs> who's the record, on the record guy that said Patrick Mahomes the best ever? You are. Thank you. It's not Nick. It's Jordan me. Nuss. All right, that's right. All right, so I've got Justin Fields. My 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 record was not up there on that graphic, but here's another graphic for you. Justin Fields, most yards rushed for by a quarterback in a single season. Oh. He was only 43 yards short, or was it, what is that? 60, 63. 63 yards short you, last year, and he only played 15 games. So I think he's going to be running again this year. I know they've tried, they've improved a little bit, but he's still going to have to get out and use his legs Still might be a better runner than passer at this point yep. in his career. So, I think Justin's going to be running That's a good one. wild. So, I think he's going to break the record. So, Nick is right. Kansas City is going to break a record this season. It just won't be that record. It's going to be the scoring record. And so, Peyton oh. Manning in 2013, that offense had 606 points. And I think the Chiefs are going to have to surpass that just based off of, of the information that Nick gave us yesterday where defense really isn't important. <laughs> Chris Jones really isn't important. Yeah. They've got a defensive that line that Chris is combined Jones. for one sack per seven games, so that's going to be an issue. And they faced nine teams that are fairly prolific offensively, so they're probably going to have to score about 40 points a game, at least till they get Chris Jones back, which puts him in line to break the scoring record. So, the Chiefs, so you have the Chiefs being the highest scoring offense in NFL history? Highest scoring offense in NFL and history. And you think I'm going to be upset that. about this? Be but, I'm good with that. Good job, but, coach. We got to move on. But, no, I agree. This is a great take. They will not beat this is, the New England Patriots record. This is a great take. This, uh, it was a great take to lead. <laughs> Next up, a little bit of a curveball because these are the coach of the year phase. Caffeinated Dan Campbell in at number one. What a, what a ride this is. Sean Payton is number two. Yeah. Wow. He's making the playoffs. Come on. Doug Solid low. Um, the team most likely. So here's the curveball. We're going to do the opposite. Who's most likely to make a midseason coaching change? Oh, that one's easy. The New York Jets. Uh, it's Woo! on the board that they could go into the first annual Nat Hackett Bowl, Jets, Broncos, 0-4. And, and if that happens, all that all it's going to take there is for the Patriots to beat them for the 15th straight time because they're going to lose to Buffalo, they're going to lose to the Cowboys, and they're going to lose to the Chiefs. If that happens, the seat will be not hot but scorching immediately. Later in the year, they have a Monday, Black Friday stretch of at Buffalo and Miami. They lose two games in five days. The last one, a standalone game on Black Friday on national TV. Then they'll have a little extra time before their next game. A coaching change could be made there. Mm. They could be like four and seven if things really go poorly for them. So I think Robert Sala is the answer. That's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. If it, if it does go south for the Jets. I got Josh McDaniels, which might be obvious. Uh, it's already happened to him once in Denver mm -hmm. when he started three and nine. They, they've got to win their first game. Because they open with Denver. Must win week one. Well, because here's the thing. Hold on. <laughs> I love it. No. What? I love it. <laughs> but here's the thing. They follow up with Buffalo, Pittsburgh, and the Chargers. Yeah. So if they don't win the first game, there's a decent chance they start 0-4. Like and then it. that's when it could it could, it could be well, real, that happens, well, yeah, real trouble solid, for Josh. No, I, that would if be they a don't very early coach game. firing. But yeah, yeah, I mean, happens. I don't think it'll happen after yeah. week four, but I'm saying – It'll In set the tone for a bad yeah. season. Even Look, season. I, don't, I don't think you're right, Nick, because the Jets aren't going to start 0-4. And, but if they did, yeah, that would be problematic for him. And I think Josh is probably protected by his contract. I don't think that the Las Vegas Raiders have that kind of cash flow to really move on from Keep that, many, coaches. Yeah, that many coaches. And I don't love this topic. <laughs> Just for the, for the record, and I think Ron Rivera is, is a very good coach. I think he's in an extremely difficult situation. When a new owner comes in, they pay $6 billion for a team, and they want to change everything about it. One thing they're going to want to change is, is the Their coaching own coach. staff. And so if they, don't, if they don't have success, and look, he hasn't had a winning record since he's been there. They went 500 uh, last year. 
but but that could be a, a real issue. And and this guy is tough. The guy, the new owner, is tough, and 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 is going to have very high expectations. That's fair. Yeah. Also, Kevin Durant on both teams, like the little Monty Williams. <laughs> Kevin Durant loves the Commanders. Uh, all right, say so we saved the best for last. He's practiced this for three years now and has promised us personally that he will eventually break this out. We're talking about the behind-the-back pass, obviously. Brew, who's most likely to make the play of the year? Well, Mahomes is certainly up there, obviously, but I'm going to go with Lamar Jackson. Oh. And I think it'll be with his legs. We talked yesterday, Coach, about if they throw the ball successfully outside the numbers, I don't think it would be a planned run. But a scramble where, you know, they got to pay attention to those receivers downfield, Lamar could do something. Uh, like Vic against e- the Vikings. The something. famous yeah, where I guys could see run into each something, other. Something uh, coming from him. So I got Lamar. <laughs> I'm going with Justin Fields. I think Justin Fields is a much younger version, still willing to run a lot. They're willing to use him as a runner. He broke Michael Vick's record with 178 yards against the Dolphins, and it was close to Kaepernick's. And, and there's going to be a lot of those plays again this season with more weapons across the field. So it could be him scrambling around. Madden style and then making some unbelievable throw down the field. All right, those are both great answers. I, but to me, we it, those are things we have seen to a degree. Something we haven't seen really, but we've gotten teasers of, is are the Chiefs going to run a lateral offense? Kelsey did this five years ago, mm-hmm. and people thought it was crazy. That was in the AFC title game and a designed play. Are the Chiefs going to all of a sudden start to have laterals worked into the offense so you really have to defend all 53 yards? No. I want to (laughs) believe that, but I don't think they have to do that in order to be great. So because of that, I am instead going to go with the person who had the play of the year last year, back-to-back Chandler Jones. (laughs) Bam! There you go. Chandler Jones, two-time defending play of the year. There it is. That is a great play. That's why people are tuning in. I had a ball. You didn't see that one coming. It's been a long time. There's a big Justin setup <laughs> just to get there. Did a whole lateral video All right. just to get your guard down. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.